welcome back to Maui, Karen Ann. We're going to try something different again today, so it should be fun. Hopefully it won't be a disaster, but you never know. Sometimes the disasters turn out to be the best. So I just want to remind you, since you're taking the time to watch me, I really appreciate it. I'd also be very thankful if you would subscribe. If you would hit on the subscribe button, and then over to the right, if you'd click on the bell, that way whenever I put a painting on YouTube, you'll be notified. So I do appreciate you taking your time to do that. Thank you. So I wanted to show you, first of all, this is the one I did on my last painting, and this is it dry. So you can see it doesn't have a lot of shine to it yet, because I haven't put um, resin on it. I'm going to put resin on it so it'll have like a glass finish. So I'm really excited to see that done. I think it'll really make the colors pop. So today what we're doing that's really different is we're using a black canvas. I actually purchased it this way. So I have already gone ahead and used the leveler to make sure it's level and it is. And I've mixed up my paints and I wanted to show you again to make sure if you do this that you strain your flow trawl because you can see there's little lumps and bumps in it. Not many. I did good today. So the colors we're going to use are Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And this one is called Purple Sage. I don't know who it's by because I can't find the bottle, so it's a guess who. Then I'm going to add some Deco Art Metallic Silver. And I'm also going to add Craft Smart Coral Reef. And another teal color, Folk Art Aqua. Now, teal and purple are kind of my favorite colors, so I'm going to OD on them today. I also have mixed up, this is just Artist Sloth White with Floetrol. I'm going to put some of that in a cup also. So, here's my cup. So, let's start with, what should we start with? I'm going to start with a little white. Put it in the bottom. We're really having Colorado fires today. The smoke is smoking real quick. I'll say today we have Colorado fires. You have a fire west of Fort Collins, about 65 miles, and it's been bringing smoke down into this area, and unfortunately, it is so smoky outside that we have weather alerts for breathing. And my husband has asthma, so this is not a good time for him. He gets to stay indoors. Well, I think we need to add some silver. And now the Nameless Purple Sage. I'm going to have to look when I go to the store in all the purples to see if I can find Purple Sage. Then I'll know the brand and I'll buy it. Okay. And now we've got Metallic Cobalt Blue, which is really, I think, looking like a teal. Okay, let's do some white. Okay, and then we've got the aqua. Coral reef. Silver. And our purple sage again. And our 
our metallic cobalt blue. Let's do a little more white. Let's do some silver. And what other colors should we put in there? Let's do more purple. I like purple. And aqua. I think I've got enough coral reef from looking at the glass. See all the colors? I look Looks pretty. Like Looks like a parfait. <laughs> so, I haven't put anything on my canvas, but I do have some Floetrol and black already pre-mixed that I can put on. So, what should we do? Should we put the cup in the middle or on the edge? And yep. What do you think, Antonio? Mm -hmm. on, on the edge and then you can move it down. On the edge and then move it down. Can you flip the canvas good? I don't know. I don't know until I try. Woo! Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a second so that some of the colors can run down. I'm going to put some black around. So that it will move down the, the canvas for me. At least that's the goal tonight, is to have this move down the canvas. Get it right up to the cup. Now, what I have to do is I have to break the bubbles that are going to be maybe in the black. I don't know if I have enough black on. I may have to add more black as we go down the canvas. So let's see. If I tip this, will cup move? It's stuck too much. Ooh. Oh, look at how pretty that is. too much out. Now you can get your blow. Whoa. Now you can get your blower and blow it. You don't have your blower set right there. My curl it my blow dryer? Yeah, yeah, your blow dryer. Where is it? It's over here on the floor. Let me put some more black on it. You don't want me just to twist and turn this, huh? Whatever you want to do. I'm figuring you like your blow dry. I don't yeah, but you this... could use a good blow dry. Oh, it looks good there. Yeah, I good. don't think I'm going to blow it dry. Okay. I think it looks good that way. Okay. Now what? Well, I just need to put this over the sides. <coughs> you got some nice cells coming up. I love the colors, of course. Oops, missed a spot. Now I'm just going to tilt it, see what I can get. 
tilt it this way a little bit because I've got so much up here. And let it run. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mm -hmm. tilt it that way into that mm -hmm. corner, I wish. Mm -hmm. And back this way. And then I'm sorry, I'm, well, wait a minute, I'll just turn it around. Need to tilt it this way. Down good. here at the corner. Looking good. Looking good. Down this way a little bit. Now I'm going to put it down and just look at it and see where I think I need to tilt more. Whoops. Or do anything more. I've got some pretty cells coming up. I've got turquoise cells over here. I've got some peach coming up. Or coral reef is what it really is. I kind of like the little open spaces here of black, that just not everything is completely covered. Got some more cells coming in there. What's this guy here? Oh, don't know if I want to touch him with my black finger. Don't know what that is. Just a bobble. Just blow it. Okay, so now I guess I better take my torch and get rid of some bubbles. Maybe. I think I'm going to have to get a new torch. This torch is for cooking. It's for cream brulee. I think I need to get a more industrial torch, maybe. What? Now, while that is just doing its thing, I need to go around the sides of the canvas and make sure that all the sides are covered. And I don't know if you can see, is the side up here, is it pretty where it's run over? It's really pretty over here where it ran over and over back over here. I love that effect. I love it running over the side like that. You have to go around. It's kind of a mess to do, but you need to go around and wipe off the extra colors, extra paint. Well, I like it. I don't know where my silver is. Did I lose my silver? Son of a gun. I hope not. Hopefully when this dries, the silver will show up more. I think so. So anyway, thank you for watching me tonight. I wanted to remind you that I do have an Etsy account where you can look at all my paintings and they are for sale. If you like one, let me know. I'd be glad to send it to you. Shipping is free. So that's a big deal because shipping is expensive these days. So I want to thank you again for watching. Also, if you want to have uh, fun and it's cocktail time this weekend, because it is Labor Day weekend and everyone has an extra day off usually, you can go visit Cocktail Tony, my world famous sangria, and also he has his world famous Mai Tais. So thank you for watching. Again, I appreciate the time that you've taken to visit me and have a good day. Bye. I think this Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Looks good. I'm getting some cells in mm -hmm. in here.
Mm -hmm. And over in here, mm -hmm. and a few over here. We're not too many in this area. Mm -hmm. Well, your paper's going to shoot. Mm -hmm. 